everyone. So I have been getting messages on and off about how to best utilize uh, ribbed clothing, particularly dresses. Because with, for example, the Elizabeth model, as I have it loaded, the dress itself is uniquely rigged in such a way, it's uniquely rigged, in such a way that it does not move with the character's legs. So, oops, that's the toe, that's not good. For example, as such. And so I've had people ask, you know, what's the best way to handle this issue? And the solution is with orient constraints, but I feel that, that is a bit too advanced of a topic to explain purely through text, and so I have decided to finally just make a quick video explaining how to best leverage orient constraints. So real quickly, I'm just going to show off what a orient constraint does. And so the way that they work is you select the bone that you want to attach it to, which in this case is going to be the thigh, and then you hold down control and right click the bone that you want to apply it to. So we'll do the uh, side left. So then right click and constraint orient. So now if I are to grab the leg, do it, you see that the side actually moves with it. So going from that, with this particular dress, with the uh, burial at sea version, you will want to apply it to the first bone of front left and side left. And then you actually want to use the third bone of rear left, because you can see if I grab the first one, it starts to go through her body. And the second one actually does a little bit as well. There's the third one, is pretty well clear. So then we go and grab the thigh again and do it with the third rear left bone. Okay, so now if I were to grab it, see that it actually moves more correctly. So I want to do the same to the right thigh using the front right, first one, the side right, first one, and the rear right third one. Okay, so now I can grab these and do this, and you'll notice that the front and rear bones themselves were not linked, and that's what I'm going to get to next. Because, you notice, as you can imagine, there's a front bone that goes straight down the middle, but which bone do you lock it to? The solution is you lock it to both, and I'm going to explain that. So we're going to select the left thigh and assign the first front to it, orient constraint, and then also the right thigh, an orient constraint. And then it's going to be these last two constraints down here. I'm just going to move this over a bit. And then these are actually sliders. So what you actually can do is set these, whoops, wrong one, set these both to half. And then I can grab one foot and move it, see half the dress moves with it, and the other one, and the same happens. So then I can come over here and do the same with the rear, be the third bone again, an orient constraint and an orient constraint. And then I can grab, oops, grab the foot. So obviously it's not perfect. You'd have to do some manual tweaking. But from this, I can come over here and I am going to quickly move this camera out of view so that this model does not show up when I spot it in YouTube spawn it because of YouTube. So we're just going to come over here and quickly just spawn Elizabeth. And then we'll come over here and we will apply dark to it. And then we will load a sequence. And we'll just test this out with a walk sequence. So we'll just do a really simple walk animation. And then we will 
over here. Select a small section of time with Elizabeth selected Come over here and bake the constraints. <coughs> Pardon me. Remove the constraints and then load a rig onto her. That's the SV2. And then we will select everything except the root and unknown. Actually, we'll do it this, this way. If we put the root and copy and then apply them to this one so that the animation is applied. And then, obviously, again, it's not perfect, but it gives you a foundation that you can then tune by hand. And then obviously, you will probably do this with a unique animation so that you can uh, manually put precise keyframes down rather than just using this uh, puppeted animation. But that is the general idea of how you would use orient constraints. And then, of course, you know, you could be more precise and add partial orient constraints to the calves and such to the lower dress bones so they bend more correctly. But this is the general idea of how you do it. It gets most of the wet work done for you. So that's this video. I just wanted to show this off in video form as opposed to explaining it through text and such. So there you go.